Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki A very good morning dear viewer this is Captain TV your Catholic identity to msifu Yesu Kristo it's my hope that you are doing well and bado uko na matumaini again it's a tuesday on our program the missions of hope and today we are going to listen yet to, to yet another uh, group of uh, religious men who are going to introduce themselves tell us who they are and what they are doing in this society and in the church as far as giving hope is concerned how have you been you are you hopeful and if you are hopeful for you to be hopeful you have to have something to tell god exactly what you want him to do for you so that when you are waiting for it he really knows what he is offering you that's my perspective karibu sana mpenzi mtazamaji and today we are going to have somebody who is going to tell us who he is in the studio and which congregation he is from but before that we begin with a word of prayer Karibu Padri, Asante. please pray for us as we begin the program. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever living God, we give you thanks this morning as we gather here to share our experience. You have showed us many things. The seed that you have planted and may give many fruits. We, prepare, we pray as the Capuchin TV try to reach to many persons giving hope to them you may bless them we make our prayers through Christ our lord amen in our father son and the holy spirit amen thank you so much father for that powerful prayer Welcome. and uh, ushering people in the studio today or as they watch they are going to listen to who you are and which congregation are you representing today i am called father david khayesi ahiro I belong to the Komboni Missionaries of the Heart of Jesus. Okay. Hayesi hai ayiro. That's from Western Kenya. <laughs> Which yeah. parish in particular? I was born in the parish called St Paul's Catholic Church in Rusui in Kakamega Diocese. Okay. What mm. wakachimeka? <laughs> Your son is in the house. I am sure those who are watching are happy to have you today. Thank you. So father uh, people may have heard about Komboni the Komboni missionaries but uh, it's high time for you to let them know more about the Komboni who are they who is the founder and uh, what is the charism that drive your congregation Our congregation goes back to the year 1867 mm -hmm. when it was founded by Daniel Komboni mm -hmm. And Daniel Komboni who practically was the first bishop of Central Africa. Mm -hmm. And when we say Central Africa, Central Africa was large. Mm -hmm. yeah? Egypt, Sudan, Khartoum, mm -hmm. Kenya, Uganda, all of the part of Tanzania. Yes. He was the bishop. Mm -hmm. Then from there he had the desire of evangelization and saving Africa. Mm -hmm. He tried his best to do it and then he said the only way he can manage all this is using the africans okay you might have the the motto say save africa with africans oh, yeah i've heard about that. and then that's why he say let me form a congregation yeah first for the women then later for the men mm -hmm. who can help to do the same work yeah so that's how it was founded mm -hmm. so we are the combined mission of the heart of jesus why heart of jesus he decided to ded dedicate our congregation to the heart of jesus divine mercy eh? mm -hmm. So that's where the strength comes from. Mm -hmm. Then the charism of our charism is work for the poorest and most abandoned people in the society. Mm -hmm. yeah? You go to the places where 
in brackets say others would not like to go. Yeah. Where others are not reaching. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you find in Kenya, we are mostly in the periphery outside in the cities. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There, that way, we say we need to promote the human values, uplift them, and evangelize to them so that they may come in reality with God. Yeah. That's how you are. Okay, Father. Mm. By the fact that the congregation is named after him, yes. that means he belonged to another congregation before. He yes. began this congregation. Maybe you could tell more about that. Komboni, if you go back to the life history of Komboni, yeah. Komboni was born in a place called Limone in Italy. Mm -hmm. yeah? And now that place is the, our mother house. Huh? Okay. They grew a lot of lemons there. Huh? Okay. So that's so, why it is called lemon. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, they say each time, mm -hmm. he, when he was still a young person, they say he used to grow on the mountain. They say, Africa. Huh? Then later, mm -hmm. he joined the diocesan huh? okay. to become a priest. Okay. So they say, Master, Father Master, there was in charge of him. So when they were growing, huh? initially his view was to go in Japan. Okay. After having read of the life of people in Japan, mm -hmm. lately as he began growing, things started changing. Mm -hmm. He said the slavery that was happening in Africa, and he said, I have to go there in order to stop the slave That's trade. Yeah. Okay. That was the main reason that he wanted. Uh, so he was requesting mm -hmm. the fathers to, to allow him to come to Africa. Mm -hmm. I will say in a bracket like Fidem Donu, hmm? okay, yeah, so yeah. that he can evangelize them. Mm -hmm. But with the time as it came, he comes, they realize the things are not the same. He came with many missionaries. They could not survive the tropical of South yeah, Sudan. Hmm? Yeah. The malaria, they mm. were dying. It's like the, when we recently we had corona. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. People die, we don't know what is it. Mm. So he said, what can I do? Then slowly I need to take the Africans from here to go there mm -hmm. in Italy to study in order to come. And, and evangelize. evangelize. Oh, that's yeah. So he tried in the mm -hmm. beginning. Mm -hmm. Later, he was that one could not manage. Mm -hmm. So he said, the best way is to build a school in Khartoum mm -hmm. where I can bring them from there. Mm -hmm. So how, th how things have been evolving slowly and slowly. Yeah. And if I go back to his family also, it was something uh, really funny. Komoni, they were born eight people in the families. Mm -hmm. As time goes, the six died. Wow. They, they remained two. The other one, when he was 11 years, he died. So Komoni remains alone. Oh. He remains alone, but his focus say, I have to go to Africa, Africa mm. because that is where his mind was. And in his, one of his writings, say, my journey to go to Africa was one of the clearest vocations I had. Wow. And we are told during his ordination, at the door there, when people are coming to pray, so people are praying, the mother of Komboni was there, okay. telling people, please, Pray for my son when he's being ordained not to go to Africa. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. So why? She didn't because he's the only son I have. Her, huh? oh, the only child. Right? So if I go there, yeah. what will happen? Mm. But he went. Okay. Mm. All the same. I think the prayers of God, God answers more things are more super, super than our own needs. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there are some God. We were told that God, there are some prayers He says no. Yes, yes, I think that <laughs> so. That the happened to the mother, the mother fell yeah. bad, yeah. Yeah. but in the end, when she realized that the, the what the son was doing was more superior than herself, yeah, egocentric, he said, No, that is good. I allow you to, to go, to go. Hmm? okay, because what you are doing is more much greater mm -hmm. than what I want, hmm? mm -hmm. and that's how Komboni came to Africa, okay. Hmm? Yeah. That is beautiful, Father, uh, to have the background of your congregation and how it is started. And we see Komboni being a man who dared. Uh, because uh, I think uh, even today, the climatical condition of South Sudan is still not... Uh, uh, if you are maybe from some places where it is uh, I mean, war, uh, cold, then you come to the hot area, you need a lot of graces and immunity For sure. to be able to live in such areas. And we thank God he was able to be there and to start your congregation. Yes. And here comes Father David, no, David the young boy. Yes. <laughs> David the young boy from Kakamega uh, feels that he wants to be 
uh, a priest. Yes. And the only congregation he would join is Komboni. Why Komboni? And there were other, maybe other congregation, mm. and maybe there were diocesan. Why did you choose to join the Komboni? And how was that journey? I normally say it's the plan of God. Plan God of has God. many things. Yes. You know, I come from a family deep, deeply rooted. I give back thanks to my grandparents. Mm -hmm. Because at a certain age of, I was in class six, my grandmother requested my parents to allow me to stay with her in the village. Okay. So, you know, the life of the mamas, in the evening, you, you, whether you like or don't like, yeah. we pray rosary. Yes. Uh, so we are there, I say, yeah, salam, Maria, salam, Maria. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. In the end, it goes inside. Yeah. Uh, then I was a good altar server. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since you are young. Yeah, that okay. was, I really liked it so much. Uh, <laughs> okay. And especially, mm -hmm. I used to the incense. Yeah. Uh, and my grand grandfather was sitting there. Mm -hmm. So when I go, when I come at home, I say, thank you for incensing us. <laughs> So I said, ah, so I need to do it. So it was already inside coming slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went to the secondary, the life of secondary changed a bit. Yeah. Uh, so um, afterwards, things changed, so changed again. Mm -hmm. You know, in our family, we have my uncle is also a component. Oh, uh, okay. So he was ordained in my parish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, I used to say I want to become a priest. I didn't know there are congregations. Are congregations so when he was yeah. ordained, ah, mm -hmm. also people call Komboni missionaries. Mm -hmm. But are they really priests, the normal priests? Yeah. <laughs> normal <So> priests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we know these priests were moving from Kakamega here, yeah. there we know those ones. Yes. But this one, they say, mm -hmm. you are ordained, you go. Yeah. Then I say, yeah, it's good. It's also good, I can do it. Yeah. But when you were in, the, in the high school, we're studying history. Hmm? We hear in Kenya there are some parts to say people are still, they have not received the word of God. Yeah. And that time I remember that I was thinking of the northern part of Kenya. Yeah. I was thinking of either Turkana mm -hmm. or Garissa. Garissa. So I say I want, to be, so I say, I want to be a priest to go to those it places. Yeah. Hmm? But these days you remain here. Hmm? So that's how it, I started journeying. And the parish priest there, they let, mm -hmm. talked with him and said, no, you think well. Mm -hmm. mm. We see you are very intelligent. The teacher, they say you can do so think well before you decide. Mm -hmm. uh, so I told him, I said, I have decided I want to join. Okay. So and immediately my grandfather told me, I have the, 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 the contact of the vocation director. Of the combine. He did not tell me what the combine. He just told okay. vocation director. Okay. So he wrote. Mm -hmm. So it was the combines. Oh. The, by then, Father Claudio was the VD, Claudio mm -hmm. Longe, an Italian. Mm -hmm. He came. So when he came at home, he said, eh, a Muzungu has visited me at home. I will go there. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how I went. Okay. Mm, so it was back in 2003. Mm -hmm. So 2004, I joined, we came for come and see. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we were told, you are going to start your journey of formation. You start with something called preposlance. Mm -hmm. Preposlance is a period of nine to one year. Okay. Uh, for us, we are doing it mostly. I did in Korogocho. Mm -hmm. Even now, we have a group there, some in Mukuru. Mm -hmm. So this period, which up to now, it has marked my life, I thought it's very important. Mm. Because you are being formed to detach yourself from your family. Yeah to stay how you can manage yourself in a small group. Mm -hmm. huh? Because remember in primary, high school, even in college, you are still depending on somebody. Yes. They give, your mother will give you everything you need, you have mm -hmm. something. Yeah. But in the slum, we are given uh, some money, you manage. Mm -hmm. If you don't manage well, you will sleep or hungry there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but I found that, and then another thing which was coming, coming we were there, four of us. Okay. A lawyer, mm -hmm. a pocket, mm -hmm. A, a Kalenjin, mm -hmm. and then another Bukus. Okay. Yeah. So you find these are coming with their own Culture. way of thinking. Yeah, yeah. Way of thinking. So you find yeah. this preposlance yeah. made us to come and say, for sure, we can live together. Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking, that, ah, so being a priest doesn't mean only saying mass, yeah. we're staying nicely, moving there, people greeting, no. Go to the life of Korogocho. Yeah. Go to the people down there. Down there. Yeah. You are moving with the street children. Mm. Going to the DC uh, HIV, uh, the one in the sickness of HIV, mm -hmm. then the school there. Walking there in that slum, 
that uh, Korogochi was Korogochi, now it's a, pal- a paradise. Mm-hmm. So there you move and say, ah. And the, the cloud used to tell us, for the cloud used to say, this is your life in the future. Mm. The one we have information is good, but it's artificial. Yeah. This is the one. This is what mm-hmm. you are called for. Yeah, and then when I would say, this is mm-hmm. why I should go. Mm-hmm. Then after that, of one year, we went now to the porcelains. Mm-hmm. Very eager to start, what and what. Philosophy three years, they are struggling here up and there, thinking mm-hmm. and very doubting some things, what yeah. and what, but it's normal. Hmm? Yeah. After mm-hmm. our three years, mm-hmm. so we are, I was allowed to go to, mm-hmm. to the novitiate. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The novitiate is mm-hmm. in Uganda. Oh, mm. you start becoming a missionary immediately. Already. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. So you went to Uganda? For two years. For two years. Then the 1st of May 2010, mm. I professed. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much, Father mm. David, a Komboni missionary. Maybe you know something about the Komboni missionaries. You can let us know. And in the studio, as I said from the beginning, as he introduced himself, he is a Komboni missionary from Kakamega Diocese. Do not go away because this conversation is continuing. Puchin TV. Tumetoa kambali, bado tuko bali, na tunayenda wapi? Bali. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV, huduma katoliki ya uinjilishaji. Prayer for the missions. Lord Father of our human family, you created all people equal in dignity, Pour forth into our hearts a fraternal spirit and inspire in us a dream of renewed encounter, dialogue, justice, and peace. Move us to create a healthy society and a more dignified world, a world without hunger, intolerance, poverty, violence, pandemics, and war. May our hearts be open to all the peoples and nations of the earth. May we recognize the truth and beauty that you have sown in each one of us and thus forge bonds of unity, common understanding, and shared dreams. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Pauline Marie Jericot, pray for us. Capuchin TV Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Uh, this is uh, Missions of Hope with our sister Esther Moturi and in the studio I am with Father uh, David and before we went for the short break he was narrating about his journey, the vocation journey, how he found himself with the Komboni missionaries. Father, most of the, 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 the religious when they are talking about their response to the vocation that God has called them, there are those who have found barriers from their parents, from their relatives, that uh, they, they, they tell them, no, I don't want you to join. You have told us your uncle is a, is a priest, a Komboni priest. Was it easy for you to join because at least your uncle is a priest, so they understand all this business of, of, of priesthood and religious life? 
Yes, they underst- we understand, okay. but it was not easy that way also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because people need to mm-hmm. understand that, you know, there are some who will say, ah, we were actually and uh, to mm-hmm. sail through. But I think each and every person has a, his or her own vocation uh, struggles mm-hmm. to respond to the, to the call. Maybe that a bit, how did it go? You find mm-hmm. myself, my father had a married a wife mm-hmm. and they separated. My mother was taken in. Eh? Ah. So my mother is the second wife. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. So to my mother was the firstborn. Ah. You go to the side of the the side of my mother, mm-hmm. I am the first grandson. Okay. So imagine this tip- typical lawyer. Oh, yeah. Your grandson. Yeah. The first son. Mm-hmm. You are saying you are going to become a priest. How? And we hear the priest they don't give birth. How? And we want to have grandchildren. <laughs> How can yes. that happen? Mm-hmm. So my mother said, no, let me hope that I'm dreaming. Mm. What you are saying, I'm not hearing. Yeah. Uh, it's a dream. Mm. But I said, no, but this is what... Uh, I want. So through talking, the goodness of the side of my father, yeah. the grandparents were much religious, religious and Catholic. Okay. My grandfather was very happy. Mm-hmm. So they're the ones who are doing the talking. Okay. See, so, no, that life is taking is a very good life. Mm-hmm. If he has decided, eh, let, him, let him go. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. He will continue praying for you. He'll do for you many things. Mm-hmm. As he offers mass there, you will be receiving blessings. Eh? Mm-hmm. My father was really, really, really a believer. Huh? Yeah. So you find those things. Mm-hmm. So through the talking there, my mother came, and then after one day, she said, "You go." Huh? Please don't come back. Yeah, come go, in there. Go. go. <laughs> yes. And if you come back, I'll say I told you. Yeah. <laughs> so when I went outside, mm-hmm. and if I not only there, mm-hmm. even the schools I know I am, they're going to university, eh? and the teachers they say you are going to become a priest. Eh? So you are wasting. You stay. You are wasting your knowledge mm-hmm. there. It's useless. Yeah, yeah. Say so, no. And sometimes even you could go to the, the my former parish priest. So I have heard people they say you are very good, you can do this. You can go that way, you'll build. But I used to challenge, but to you, even I see where you have a doctorate, mm-hmm. eh? how comes you are here? Yeah. So it was out of luck. Well, I also will do the same. Yes. So it was like this. But mm. in the end, mm. when the majority of these things they realized that I was really serious and focused, mm-hmm. they said, Now we support you. You go. You eh? go. Eh. How's your mother now? No, unfortunately, my mother died. Oh, eh? sorry. On the 1st of November, 2006. Eh, okay. Mm-hmm. Had she accepted? Yes. Okay. She was very happy mm-hmm. because she was there saying, yeah, if she was moving around, my son is a future priest. <laughs> eh? mm. That's good. Yeah. She's praying for us. Yeah. Even yeah. my father, the yeah. same. Mm-hmm. He came in the end. Eh? Mm. He had left the church. Ah. In the end, he came back to the church. Mm-hmm. Eh? And my mother died after all. He was alone. Yeah. So he was. He went through many things. He started receiving the communion again. Mm-hmm. He was proud. Eh? Wow. Till this year, he died in February. Also. Eh? Okay. But it was also very good. My father, good man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Thank you very much, Father, for sharing with us about your vocation journey. It's very important yes. for people to hear. You don't just come from home or from anywhere to be a priest or a sister. There are so many hurdles that people go through. And uh, if we made it, you are there watching young a youth, and you really do not understand what is happening with your life because you are trying to explain to your parents. They cannot understand. Please pray about it. Tell God what you want and he will make it possible. You admired, you joined, you became a Komboni, and that's why you have come to represent them here. What are these, some of these uh, apostolates or missions that uh, you are involved in as a Komboni or as a congregation? The first I said from the, our charism, we go to the poorest and most abandoned. Yeah. So we put in concrete in concretizing very seriously. We work with the local churches. Mm-hmm. 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 We go to the diocese. Yeah. We follow what the diocese is saying, although following our charism, mm-hmm. but this is the direction of the diocese. Mm-hmm. So we are going there, share word of God. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And to make people understand that really God exists. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You know, some people lo- lose their hope yeah. because of many things. So you are there to give hope. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And then there are other things that we do a lot also, human promotion. When you what go do to you a, mean human promotion? When mm-hmm. you go to the place like Turkana, I've yeah. been in Turkana for the last eight and a half years. Hmm? Wow. Uh, okay. 
So you find mm. some places. Which diocese? Maybe some of your people are watching. I am Catholic Diocese of Lodwa. Lodwa, okay. Uh, That's good. In the parish called Nakwamekui. Okay. Present Christ so Nakwamekui. So you know Kiturkana? A bit. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> Reading, okay. I can read well, but speaking. But you yeah. can greet them. Ejoha. Uh, yeah, thank you. I know they have responded. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we find then in some places, there are these people, mm. they don't have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. You say, you know, you can only preach and somebody is being burned by the sun. Sure. So we say, let us try to build some houses for these ah, old mamas. Okay. Huh? I get you. And we work with the, yeah. the people on the ground, mm -hmm. with the Jumia members and that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Another thing we say, this, the life of a small Christian community, mm -hmm. forming and working with them seriously. Huh? Mm -hmm. So that because this word you're celebrating the church, huh? it's only on a Sunday or Sunday with days. Sure. But the majority are in there. In inside the villages, the, yeah. So we got them with the name of Jumuyas. Mm -hmm. uh, we share the word. They are Manyatas. Yeah. yeah. Manyatas there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, promotion of education. Yeah. Mm. If you go to our missions where we have, hmm, you'll always find we have a school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A Very school important. is there. Like where I was in Nakwami, we have a school called Komboni Girls High School, mm -hmm. which I treasure so much. Mm -hmm. It was built for girls in order to encourage the girls that were being sent to take care of animals. Mm -hmm. So we say, let us build this school in order to mm -hmm. allow even those poor can reach mm -hmm. there. Okay. Uh, so they reach there, they come, you bring them, sometimes they have no money. Mm -hmm. We also try to look for people to sponsor yeah. them so that they receive school. education. Okay. Because we believe education will help in future. Mm -hmm. Another thing we do, the pastoral in the slums. I said we were in Korogocha. Huh? Yes. We work in the slums there. Mm -hmm. And you know the lifestyle of the slums. Hmm? It's a bit low, yeah. so we are trying to uplift them. In the slums, we do many two things, a number of things. Sometimes we come to the voice of those voiceless. Mm -hmm. uh, that's already I'm going to the promotion of justice and peace. Yeah. We speak on their behalf. Huh? Yeah. Uh, we form groups that can say, this is our rights, and this is what we should be done. Huh? And then in, in another me uh, area we are now, we have also entered mass media. Okay, yeah. welcome. <laughs> That's where we are. We have mass media. Yes. We have ourselves a new people media center. Okay. Uh, which is producing every magazine every two months. Mm -hmm. New people magazine and then mm -hmm. calendars, then pocket diaries. Mm -hmm. And this pocket diary we find is going a lot because it has the readings of the day, everything. Yeah. yeah. And it's a small thing people take and they go, huh? Mm -hmm. But we were contemplating, say, even the mass media, we want to go more deeper, huh? Yeah broadcasting, what mm. and what, because we realize even nowadays the aspect of reading is going low. Yes. People now prefer to listen. To listening. Mm. And, and say so we can, yeah. yeah. And we are trying to follow the, the example of Pope okay. Benedict. Yeah. Okay. When he's launched, they say we go. Yeah. yeah so you find each time things there are There is moving. no way we can avoid the media as yes. far as evangelization is concerned. And there is a lot of... Uh, uh, encouragement that is being given out there that that is where they where people are we go there mm. if they are going to the media <laughs> we shall go to evangelize them through that way so there so, are all of this yeah. area say the yeah. physical disabled yeah we have in Lokichar where mm. we have a parish mm. uh, physical disabled children mm. this is their cripple what and what mm -hmm. we bring them you know they are their throne yeah they look like an outcast say let us bring together mm. and we take them to Kijabe for operations mm -hmm. so that we give life and hope to their lives no? okay mm. and lastly the one we have also ventured is uh, you had when I said Korogoja Street children yes mm. We have gone deep in that. Mm -hmm. huh? Now we have here a house called Appendaquish, mm -hmm. where we pick the children, these who are drug addicts, we come to reform them for formation mm -hmm. one year. Huh? Mm -hmm. So that after that, during that time, we, we connect them with their parents, mm -hmm. a changed person total. Okay. Uh, they say, we are the little, but we say we do something and to change. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Father. Uh, I've heard that you say you have lived in Lodwa for, I mean, among the Trukana people or the people from those areas, the northeastern areas. Uh, once I went to Lodwa and I heard that uh, the girls, when they have those beads, uh, the, 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 the bigger the beat, the, you number, count the number of camels. The number of camels or cows that will come. And I, w I heard that you cannot go to school with those beads. No. 
why why is it not uh, why why should they not go with the beats and how was easy was it for you to convince the parent because i understand once they have those beats yeah. it's very hard for you to be able to let them remove them mm. and go to school yeah. what how what criteria did you use maybe there is a, a priest or somebody working in those areas where they are finding it very difficult to deal with that that kind of uh, environment how easy was it uh, if it was hard what did you do to be able to convince them to go to school you know the components we are celebrating your golden jubilee okay eh? yeah and among the first parishes we arrived mm -hmm. in places was in turkana okay. we went to pokoti first mm -hmm. then went to turkana mm -hmm. so it is a journey that we started doing eh? from the first priest, you know, we say we, generation after generation we inherit. Yeah? Yes. The first thing we started to say, working with the young ones. Mm -hmm. huh? You say you teach the young ones, you do them very good to understand their morals. When they go home, they share with their, their parents. Mm -hmm. So the mothers start coming. Mm -hmm. So we start teaching them. So when the time, now the, the men end. Mm -hmm. So you send this one to school. In the first day, we, they used to say, we shall give you this one. Okay. The they one, give why? you one out of the, uh, the rest. You should take this one to school. Okay. So why? Because she she can she she doesn't know how to take care of the animals. <laughs> and the one who's given out, yeah. he goes through and get, gains a lot than the one who could have done. Yes. And then with the time, as the things go, say ah, so and so is becoming great. Huh? But these things of working with Turkan and it's not only the community missionaries. Mm. We work in synergy with many people. Yeah. Uh, many organizations which are there promoting. Mm. So we, we go inside there, say the first thing say, let us build a nursery school there. Mm -hmm. So when these young ones are going back, huh, reading, say they can read, uh, my name is Good Morning. Mm -hmm. So the other one, they listen and say, ah, I am missing something. Mm. Say, and when you go to school, you're not allowed to where are these ones? Mm. So some could hide, they remove. When they're going back, they put again. Eh? Because when they've been put the beats, mm -hmm. already the parents identify this one will be a, a wife of somebody. Yeah. Eh? Mm. This wealth. Eh? They, they used to see girls, not as a person, but number of gods they're going to receive, mm -hmm. number of camels. Mm -hmm. eh? So the beats are added according to how well you are working, yes. as far as looking after the cows is concerned. If you are taking your very serious hard working, yes. the more it means, even if you go there society, you will not As bring the parents yes. down. Eh? Okay. You will not let your husband down. Mm -hmm. so and who put the beads? The parents? Or the, the parents. Okay. Yes. The parents, they put it. Mm -hmm. Why is it, why can't they be in school with those beads? You know, when they come in school with the beads, yeah. it's a bit, it becomes a, like, Discrimination will go. Huh? Okay. You don't look at them very well, so they feel a bit segregated. Ah. Uh, so he said, for the purpose of uniformity, mm -hmm. they just remove. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. <laughs> we are talking on behalf of the people from Trukana or from Northeastern, wherever those the wearer of beads. I thought for me, if 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 there is no big deal, why let the children go to school with those beads? But if it has a negative connotation, it's good. And those people who are working there, we pray that God help you to help them understand the need to go to school because through education, many lives have been transformed. The conversation continue, do not go away because we are going for a short break. And when we come back, Father will continue sharing with us about the missions that they have carried out for the last 50 years. Do not go away. Kapuchin TV. Tumetoa kambali, bado toko bali, na tunayenda wapi? Bali. Endelea kutazama. Kapuchin TV. Huduma katoliki ya uinjilishaji. Christianity, in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you, 
for this is the law and prophets Islam no one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself Judaism what is hateful to you do not do to your neighbor this is the whole Torah all the rest is commentary Baha'i faith lay not on any soul a load that you would not wish to be laid upon you and desire not for anyone the things you would not desire for yourself Buddhism treat not others in ways that you yourself would find hurtful Hinduism this is the sum of duty do not do to others what would cause pain if done to you Capuchin TV Ni bara canto ca qua mongo Vai Vai Ni mara Vai Ni bara canto ca qua mongo Vai Vai Ni mara Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Welcome back dear viewer to our last segment of Missions of Hope with our sister Esther Moturi and in the studio uh, is Father David uh, of Komboni Missionaries Komboni Missionaries and he's telling us some of the activities or apostolates that they are involved in and their existence in the country for the last 50 years and father before we left you are talking about the missions you are carrying out in the marginalized area and especially where you were in Trukana and how you carry out uh, uh, the work especially as far as education is concerned and thank you for that work and uh, i hope it continues because <laughs> you still need people to be in those areas sure. yeah so um our program is Missions of Hope, and I can see from here, at least for you, 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 you wrote down some of these activities that you carry out that uh, offer hope to the society and more especially to the marginal, marginalized. marginalized community uh, among the Poko, Trukana, Borana, uh, Rendile. And uh, one of the the mission that you are talking about is Napenda Kuishi Home. Napenda Kuishi. <laughs> why Napenda Kuishi? <laughs> what, is the, what is the reason why you gave that name or whoever gave the, the home that name? The name has been changing. Mm -hmm. Before we used to have Boma Rescue Center, which is still there. Okay. And then we had Kisumundogo, mm -hmm. all on Kariabangi. Okay. And then when we were starting here, we say Napenda Kuishi, the place where this young one can find life where they can stay. Mm -hmm. Panda Kuish, eh? mm -hmm. I like to stay there. Okay. So when we are recruiting and bringing them there, we are not forcing them to come there like a prison. So mm -hmm. We allow them to come there freely. Mm -hmm. I am drug addict, yeah. but allow you to come and see, say, we want you to change in your life. Yeah. So when he comes, he says, this is a nice place. Mm -hmm. Napenda he he is he nyumba. Yes. Sema napenda kuishi home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. And it's a process which I say it starts down from Kariobank or Rogochu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you find they are coming there, they are picked from the dumping side, they are brought in Kisumundogo. Mm -hmm. Then after that uh, period, we bring him to Napenda Kuishi home. Okay. So it's Kisumundogo, a recovery place it's like before a, they come to... It's a recruitment place. Oh, recruitment, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Is it easy for them to, to accept to come? 
it's in not easy. Yeah. I told you when I was in the preparation, I worked in the group. It's yes. not easy. Yeah. Telling somebody to leave that thing mm -hmm. glue, yeah. put down and come is not easy. Mm. Even you'll find some of them, they are really struggling. Mm. But others also who went in this type of dumping side because of the situation in the family, mm. because of this, mm. but it's not, they want to leave it, mm. but they find it hard. Mm. So when you come there, you invite them, just come and visit, mm -hmm. see how we are staying, mm. talk with them. Mm. Then after time, you see they are consistent, the way I come and say, would you like us to take you to another place mm -hmm. where you can find more education, what and what? And also come for rehabilitation. If you feel that they have done well, huh? We take them to schools. Okay. Yeah. You are schools or any school? No, any school. Okay. Yeah, we take the public schools where yeah. we pay, we take care of the things, mm -hmm. but we find them, we want them to have a future. Yes. Yeah. Mm. We don't want to remain the same. Mm. That's the way we have. Mm -hmm. Even at Pendakwisi now, we have a number of them, yeah, like four, they're mm -hmm. in the university. Okay. Yeah. They have gone the that's process. A, yeah. That's a beautiful, successful story. Yeah, yeah. When I look yeah. at one is studying law, mm -hmm. law, mm -hmm. I, I really like it to say, yeah. at least yeah. we look at it say it's a fruit. Yes. You might have had thousands, but you say at least this one yeah. will help others in future. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. And as I tell, I tell people, uh, as far as the media is concerned, when you are addressing people, you do not address a multitude, you address one person. Yes. If one person is listening to you and doing what is expected of you, you say the objective is achieved. And you, uh, when you are carrying out such a, an apostolate, if one is converted and is, in, is successful in life, we thank God about that, because it is from that one that many more will come. Uh, Another thing mm -hmm. that uh, I say very important, we give hope to the people. Yeah. I go to the, our places in desert here. Mm -hmm. The problem of water. Yes. Mm? Yeah. And we have a brother called Brother Dario from Italy. Okay. Is that that experience? Mm -hmm. He will come to look until there's water here. Oh. They will bring the expert and say water is there. He, then, he has the gift. Is it a gift or? It's a, I think it's a sense. gift. It's a gift. Yes. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> yes. If you tell me to look mm -hmm. here, just I'm gonna get up. Yeah. Uh, but for him, he'll be able you to... You tell this way, there's water here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he senses that the direction is this. Yeah. Here we have a lot, there we don't have a lot, and that's a desert. Wow, that's And he has, he has been able to drill many boreholes. Mm -hmm. And when you're drilling boreholes, you know it's expensive to drill boreholes yes, there. Yes, I know, yeah. So we combine missionaries mm -hmm. through his donors. We help to drill boreholes for the communities. Mm -hmm. And you say, when there's water there, at least the community will develop there. Mm. They have water for drinking, water for the animals. Mm. Huh? Mm. And you find there, so it's a lot of hope giving to them at least. Mm. You say, when they, these fathers, they came here, well, now we have water. Mm. Huh? When they came visiting us, now we can breathe. Huh? Mm -hmm. And we have ventured in that so, a lot. Mm -hmm. In those areas, Pokot, uh, Turukana, Mars, but a lot, a lot, many boreholes. Mm -hmm. Another aspect that we feel, I feel that is very important we are doing also, a bit of in the health. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you go to Uganda, you hear of uh, uh, Bishop Blessed Ambrosoli. Ambrosoli, yeah. yeah. I saw even <laughs> during his uh, what, uh, beatification. Uh, beatification. Mm. I followed. I didn't know him, mm. but I, I happened to find it on YouTube on going, and I really followed, and I liked what I saw. It's a lot. That he worked, he was a doctor, but he did a lot of work there. He was a Komboni. He was a Komboni. Oh, that's mm. great, good. Yeah. So you find mm. even in Kenya here, yeah. we have we build, we have built dispensaries. Mm -hmm. mm? Like now, we have a dispensary which was built by the Kombonis. Mm -hmm. Although we had for management we gave to the diocese, mm -hmm. we helped because of personnel. Mm -hmm. Like in Amakuta, we have a, a dispensary, the only one that place mm -hmm. and it's serving many people okay in the beginning it was to help the pregnant mothers mm -hmm. what and what eh? mm -hmm. and in this malaria to the children sure and say we, we cure them if you leave them the pregnant mama there mm -hmm. you are losing many mm -hmm. so i say we want to reach them we want to save them give them life yeah. before you give the word also huh? okay so we do, we have a lot huh? that's good father and in education, you see, yeah. you, you understand in Tangaza, yeah. we have a, so, a, a whole department, social ministry. Social ministry, I <laughs> <laughs> Institute of Social Transformation. And you see, you say we want to nurture the people yes. to become yeah. self-reliant. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I really appreciate the conference who have been working there, mm -hmm. Father Pierre Lee, yeah. Brother Jonas. Yeah. They do a lot. Huh? A lot sure. So you say we, we have discovered that mm. it's not only 
going to the peripheries, mm -hmm. to the sides. Yeah. We also need to come here yeah. to train this one, yes. they will go. They huh? will go. So and the work will mm. be continuing. Enabling the enabler. Yeah. <laughs> you enable this, they will go outside then. And, and that's why we say we, we concur with our founder when he said before dying. Yeah. I die. Mm -hmm. But my works will never die. die. And it is continuing. Uh, so you look at it, we are growing, going here. Mm -hmm. A small way, but we are growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And giving hope. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Father, for that. Now, we can now listen to you talk about uh, the Golden Jubilee and uh, what, what are the plans and what are you telling our Christians and those who are watching us about the Komboni and the celebration ahead? Yeah, the Komboni yeah. missionaries, we have, we have just launched mm -hmm. the Golden Jubilee mm -hmm. in Kacheliba, 24th mm -hmm. of September. Yeah. Uh, but as a province, which was in a greater first off, January 74, so mm -hmm. it's next year. So we have launched, so that by the end of next year, we close it. Okay. And when we look at it, we are looking at the back, huh? the past, mm -hmm. with a lot of eagerness. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. From there, so we want to focus in the future, yeah. looking from where we have come from and where we are going. Huh? Yeah. And yeah. we say gratitude to God. Yeah. We find, we look at it, we have been many, we were many dioceses. Mm -hmm. And in each place we were going, by the time we were living there, the place developed. Mm -hmm. I was looking where we are in the postland now. I am in the formation, in the formation now. Okay. So I look on Gatarongai. Yeah. When I was there, those days, St. Mary's was the only parish. Mm -hmm. And it was run by the communist missionaries, mm -hmm. started by the communist missionaries. Mm -hmm. Now from St. Mary's, we have eight parishes. Wow. All of them we have given to the diocese and mm. other congregation. Mm. Kitengela, mm. Kandisi, mm. Goroi, those, all of them. But yeah. before it was run by the Kumbon. Yeah. So they say we go to our place, we want to develop people, become safe, mm -hmm. say self land you continue, you move. Mm -hmm. That's our nature. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So That's we say good. we have come very firm. Mm -hmm. And we look at the work the Kumbon have done, they have left trace marks there. So we say our plan this year with the, with the vocation director, who is also mission animator yeah. for the Korea, mm -hmm. is trying to plan to visit all the dioceses we were. Okay. Our provincial people have already talked to them, so he's going to be given permission to go to the parishes to animate the people to record what how they lived mm -hmm. and how they can celebrate together. Okay. Yeah. You said that you launched the, the Jubilee uh, yes. in Kacheliba. What is so special about Kacheliba? Is it where Komboni missionary began in Kenya or what happened in that place? The first place we arrived was in Tartar. Tartar. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's in Kitale Diocese. Okay. So after that, we moved to Kacheliba. Okay. So since we are still in Kacheliba, mm -hmm. we saw this our, one of our earliest parish. Mm -hmm. yeah? So exactly the parish was celebrating 50 years since we arrived there. Okay. So that's what we say. We thought, said now, say, being the first parish we have in Kenya, mm -hmm. we shall launch from this one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Tartar, you are no longer there? No. Okay. <laughs> That's good. So, where will, where, where will be the, the crowning it all? Where will the celebration be? Maybe there are some people who do it. They, they have something with the, what, with mm -hmm. the Kamboni. Somebody says, it's Kamboni people who help me. I would wish to go and celebrate mm -hmm. with them. Yeah, the crowning will be in the Akdais of Nairobi. The yeah. Holy Family Basilica. No, it's in Akdais of Nairobi. Okay. Either <laughs> yes, eh, yes, we yes. thought of Kariobangi, Kariobangi. and also Utawala. Yes. Eh? Ah, okay. Utawala, the one we came three weeks ago, it was mm. now declared a parish ah. eh? after 10 years of experience. Eh? Okay. And being a parish of mission and mission, eh, um, promoting company of values. Mm -hmm. So we are still debating whether we shall do it from there. Hmm. So mostly we shall do in Utawala. Okay. It's called St. Daniel Komboni Utawala Parish. Oh. Hmm. Thank you very much, Father. You know, um, I just finished school recently. I, I finished school recently. And uh, the people who are offering uh, the scholarship, the person who, who, is, who helped the scholarship that I was given was a child, young man, who was held by the sisters, and he is called Conrad Hilton. And when he was dying, he said, part of my uh, property should go to looking into the affairs of the sisters because I am, because the sisters helped me to be who I am. 
It's my hope that we shall have so many called Nad Hilton as you carry out the work that you do in empowering the people and especially from the marginalized places. Father, tomorrow we are celebrating All Saints Day and you have your ancestor Komboni, Daniel Komboni, who is a saint. What do you tell the Christian about tomorrow's uh, solemnity? The solemnity of tomorrow is very important. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Remembering all the saints. Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And we say we have saints who are living, yeah. others are dead. Yes. Those who have been declared yeah. and the others have not been declared. Declared, eh? yes. Yeah. So this is the only day we are given a chance mm -hmm. to celebrate all of them. Yes. So I, I always tell people when this day comes, celebrate with vigor. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Remember somebody who has touched your life. Yeah. This person could be your saint. Eh? Mm -hmm. Remember that. Yeah. And play, pray for that person. Eh? Yeah. And when you look for somebody imitating the life of Komboni, say, Komboni is there, he was one person. Mm. And he tried to do many things. Mm. He died at the age of 50. Oh, and he had already done many. Eh? Wow. He said, yeah, mm. my desire is to come to that level. Mm -hmm. eh? I look at the future. I, how can I touch the lives of many? Mm. Not to be remembered, yeah. but trying to imitate the good example of the saints. Sure. You know, the, the, the people like the protestant, they say, those people died. Why do you keep remembering them or mentioning them and saying about them being saints? <laughs> who made them saints? <laughs> what can you tell that protestant who is questioning that question? But if you say people died, yes. you go to our, let us go to our cultures. Yeah. We are given names after. After our people. Our people, eh? yeah, the yeah. grandmother look and say, this is, mm. this is, uh, this is Esther. Mm -hmm. I look at this here, mm. because Esther was good. Eh? Yeah. So we say, the saints are always with us. We cannot mm. say we don't, we throw them aside. Eh? Yeah. We follow, imitate them because mm -hmm. of their good deeds. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Father, thank you very much. And to summarize it all, uh, maybe you can shout out the, the grade uh, one should have in order for him to join. You have Komboni sisters or Komboni? Aha, we have, we have Komboni fathers, <laughs> yeah. Komboni sisters, okay, eh? okay. lay missionaries, okay. eh? Komboni brothers, mm -hmm. secular, all of them. So for one to join your congregation, what is required? For one to become a Komboni priest or Komboni brother, mm -hmm. you need a minimum grade in Kenya, C+, mm -hmm. a grade that allows to join university. Yeah. And also you must be less than 24 years old. Less than mm. 24. Mm. Okay. Mm. Other things are there you can read from the New, new People magazines. Okay. Mm. Okay. So any contact, if somebody wants to get to Komboni, is there, is there a, a telephone number or? Yes. Yeah. We have Maybe the you can shout it mm. to the viewer. Yeah, anybody who would like to join us or contact, contact me wherever you are, you can reach me the following number. 0705-773195. Okay, any closing remark? Mm. We are almost coming mm. to the end of our program. Yeah, the closing remark say, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, mm -hmm. never lose hope in offering services to one another. Sure. Uh, let mm. us be the hand of the one who does not have a hand. Mm -hmm. And for you, a young person who feel like to join a, any congregation, a decision, mm -hmm. don't be discouraged. Mm -hmm. There's a right to the decision you are making. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you so much, Father David, for making time to come and be with us. Do not get tired of offering a hand and do not lose hope. There is still hope. Uh, this world may not be, be very good. And uh, they say when you are given a lemon, make a lemonade. <laughs> and we are coming to the end of our program today, Missions of Hope. And in the studio I was with Father David who has talked about most of what they do uh, and especially to the marginalized community. And uh, we echo and uh, appreciate all those people who are working in those areas empowering them and giving them hope and telling them it is possible to make a transformation and become somebody in the society it has been missions of hope with I, sister esther moturi until next time it is bye for now god bless you